Hello, welcome to Healing Connection, your supporting light for better mental health. My name is Crystal. Thank you for watching another edition of our short story series. This edition is called The Tortoise and the Hare. One bright sunny day, Terry the tortoise was walking to the local watering hole to meet his friends. As he paced along, he took in the beauty around him. Suddenly, Harry the Hare zoomed by Terry and shouted, You slowpoke, you'll never get anywhere at that pace. Terry shook his head, chuckled at his friend, and kept on his journey. When Terry reached the watering hole, Harry was laughing and telling the other animals about how he zoomed past Terry. He's so slow. Sally the snail could probably beat him in a race, Terry said. All the animals at the watering hole pointed and laughed at Terry. Terry smiled at Harry and all of his animal friends at the hole and said, I bet I could beat you in a race. Terry laughed loudly and said, Okay, sure, you can beat me. Well, we'll see about that. Meet me here tomorrow, 12 p.m. sharp, if you can. The next day, Terry, Harry, and all the animals were at the watering hole for the race. Terry and Harry stepped up to the starting line. I'll see you at the finishing line if you make it there, Harry laughed. Good luck to you, Terry said. The bell sounded and Harry took off full speed, leaving Terry in the dust. Terry wasn't bothered by the large lead Harry had. He focused, his focus was to finish the race. Harry was halfway to the finish line and he looked back and seen that Terry was still close to the starting line. Well, it could take a while for the little fella to catch up, I think I'll just take a quick nap under the tree here and let him catch up a bit. He laid down and fell into a deep sleep. Harry was still sleeping when Terry reached him. He tried to wake up Harry, but he was sleeping so deeply. Hmm, Harry sure is tired. He must have used all his energy at the start of the race. Terry tried one more time, and Harry still would not wake up. Terry shrugged his shoulders and focused on his goal, to finish the race. Terry was almost at the finish line when Harry finally woke up. Oh my goodness, I slept too long. He raced off to catch up to Terry. But it was too late. As fast as Harry was, Terry won the race. The moral of the story, this busy world we live in tends to make us feel like we have to run through life such as Harry did in the story. We focus on being as successful as we can, winning every race. By doing this, we may miss all the beauty around us or burn out. If we move toward our goals at a strategic and slow pace, we're able to capture the beauty in the world. We may not win the race every time, but our spirits and our minds will. Thank you for watching this edition of the Healing Connection story series. Healing Connection is a registered charitable organization across Canada. Our goal is to build a resilient community together. Do you like what you see? Please visit our website at www.healingconnectionhc.com for videos like this and much more, please follow us on our Facebook and Instagram for new information and upcoming events you don't want to miss. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel where there are more stories like this. Bye for now.